Good morning, survival family. I am just coming in to my kitchen to make some coffee because my little one did not sleep last night. Never in my life have I ever been a coffee drinker until I had a baby, and <laughs> now I need it to function. Also, we got our Christmas tree put up. I don't wanna hear any complaints in the comments because Halloween is over, Christmas tree can be up. <laughs> All seriousness, Christmas decorations take way too much work just to have them up a month, so that's why we put ours up in November. But, all right, let's get into the topic for this morning. So I'm hearing through the grapevine that they are going hard after our truckers. And if you don't know the significance of what truckers do, anything that you buy from the store has come from a trucker. Someone who is away from their family at weeks at a time, sometimes longer, and who drives all over. Honestly, it's pretty risky right now because they're getting robbed. Um, and... What we're going to get into this morning is the cards are being stacked against them but just saying that you should be so thankful for truckers because they're the reason why our grocery stores are open they're the reason why we get food every week and i'm very appreciative so if you are a trucker and a part of this family thank you for what you do so they put out new regulations please ignore my kitchen we had thanksgiving with our my cousin's family this last weekend and i haven't cleaned it yet so that's going to be after I make this video. Um, but anyway, they put out new regulations for truck drivers. The big one is that I believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, it takes about four to five weeks to get a CDL. Well, now they're making, they're adding on four weeks of training to that. So it's going to be twice the time to get your CDL, which means that new truckers coming in, A, they might not want to take the time to do that. You know, they might need a job. They might, you know, have bills to pay and they might just go get a different job because they don't have two months to give for training that they're not going to be getting paid. On top of that, what I'm hearing is for whatever reason, trucker lounges like the trucker showers that some gas stations have are all saying they're, clo they're closed um, until further notice. Now, this isn't at every gas station, but it's starting to pop up more and more across the U.S. A lot of it's in New Mexico right now, but it is starting to pop up over the U.S. so that these truckers don't have anywhere to rest or to shower or, you know, to continue their route. Another one of my sources who's a truck driver, he told me that um, he ran into a few gas stations where they were only allowing them to fill up their tanks halfway so i believe that a normal truck is 120 gallons correct me if i'm wrong at least this is what he was telling me and so he can only get 60 gallons of fuel or equivalent to 255 dollars so they're limiting it which tells me that they're starting to have a fuel shortage which i feel like we've had for a while thanks to this administration shutting down certain oil um refineries and things um but the fact that they're limiting truck drivers to how much gas that means that they're gonna have less time on the road that means they're gonna have to stop more and he even said he's ran into gas stations where they have had so many truck drivers backed up that he had to keep going another one of these regulations they said that if they break down and they actually need someone to like come and assist them from their company um they're telling truck drivers that you know it might be six to eight hours if they can come at all to come fix them and so my source told me that he is starting to see trucks abandoned on the side of the road like they're literally just leaving whatever they're hauling and so I can't imagine that that's going to go over too well for the company they're hauling for. Um, that stuff could get stolen. It's probably going to go rotten, you know. But what else are they supposed to do, especially in this winter? They can't just sit on the side of the road for 24 hours waiting for help. They're going to freeze to death. Who knows if shortages continue where they can't even get parts to get someone to come over there. There's going to be a lot. There's going to be, I predict, a lot of trucks abandoned on the side of the road, which means even more shortages. So forget even these cargo ships that are out in the ocean. They're now being attacking us from what is even in the US. So who knows what this is gonna do to, to the supply chain even more. I personally have been doing grocery delivery every few days and just trying to get little items so it's not obvious. Um, but I I would continue to prep you guys. I, I have no idea 
where this is gonna go. Um, you know, it's been circulating um, by this administration that we are going to be running out of food in the next 90 days. Okay, I need to go clean my kitchen before my kid wakes up, but let me know in the comment section down below what you have heard about this new trucking regulation and if you have even seen some abandoned trucks or how the supply chain is looking in your area. Um, that would be so helpful to other preppers if you can leave that in the comments. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It's free, only takes a second, and it really helps my channel out. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.